plaintiff, Shayna Hoke, is a tattoo enthusiast who paid the defendant to tattoo her arm. However, she claims as a result of his shoddy work and the fact that he had a chameleon running around his studio, she got an infection. So she's suing for medical expenses, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Defendant Carlos Mendoza says after he gave Shayna her tattoo, the two of them had sex. Carlos claims Shayna did not properly care for her tattoo, and that's what led to the infection. And he's countersuing her today for harassment. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Um, so I guess I'll just start by saying I'm a big tattoo enthusiast. I've been getting tattoos since I was 18 years old, so it'll be like 17 years of getting tattoos. Um, I have over 60 hours of work on my body. Um, at this point, I was working on a full Chicago sleeve because this is where I was born, where I'm from. Um, I've even had artists that I've waited up to a whole year on a waiting list to make sure that I get the right artist for the artwork that I wanted on my body. Um, I was even in a contest to compete for the cover of Ink Magazine, which I ended up coming in second place for um, right around the time that this occurred. Um, I had came across Carlos, um, the defendant, on Facebook um, through other people, uh, maybe just bringing him up or whatever because I was looking for a new artist. And so I contacted him. Let me him. ask you, is it on every part? Well, I see it's not on your hands yet. <laughs> no. Do you intend to put them on your hands no. or your neck? No. Okay, because it always throws me off about what people project both in the future as, as it relates to the workplace, mm -hmm. their career. Yes. And as it relates to age. <laughs> right. So most of mine are in places that I can definitely. I know you. Help for the people who have it all the way up to their necks, yeah, all the way down their hands. I'm wondering if they're going to be hired right. for a job that requires them to interact with, people. with others. Yeah. <laughs> because some customers have those type of... Uh, judgments. Judgments, that's the <laughs> best way to put it. And secondly, what about when you get like 75? Doesn't it kind of look different? Hey, I've seen some older people in pictures. It's and cool. I, it's it still all right? looks kind of cool, I think. I don't okay, know. Okay, <laughs> don't know. I don't know, but I assume at 75, it might be really wrinkled. Well, maybe I'll have to check in with you <laughs> and okay, show you. Yeah, <laughs> there. Call me. No, but you don't have it on your neck. That's the primary part. <laughs> all right. It's like, well, you can't put anything, you can't put sleeves on, and there's no way to cover anything mm -hmm. at any time. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, I'm, hey, if you want them all over your body, fine. When you go in for a professional interview, you don't have it all, you know, it's not showing on the parts that you're going to need to go to work. It's not, you're fine, but all over, and then you got some folks with it on their face. So maybe I'm out of it based on my generation. But go ahead, you connected with him on the internet. Correct. Mm -hmm. So I contacted him through Facebook Messenger, um, kind of conversed with him about what I was looking for and what I was interested in and things like that. Um, he agreed that he would obviously do the tattoo. Um, he said he was booked out for a little bit, but if he had any cancellations, before that, that he would um, get a hold of me and let me know. Um, so maybe a couple weeks later, he did get a spot opened up. So he contacted me. I said, for sure, I'll be there. Um, so I go in. I have all my stuff, like my ideas and things like that of what I wanted to do. Um, he was already tattooing somebody else, so he was finishing up with them. Um, so I decided to, because I always drink when I get my tattoos, which is something I do. I like to have a little shot or whatever to kind of loosen up or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I told him I was going to run up to the store to get something to drink, and that when I got back, he should be done with what he was doing. Um, when I got back, he was already done sanitizing everything and resetting up for me, which honestly I thought was kind of weird because it was so quick. Um, and then we started to sit at his desk to do, like, the stencil work to go on the actual tattoo for my arm. Um, when I was there, his brother was like, hey, you ever seen one of these? You want to see it eat? And it was a chameleon that he had inside the tattoo shop. 
And I said, oh, that thing is really cool. Like, it has super bright colors. Um, actually, if you go to page 14, I have a picture of it in there. So I watched him eat and all that stuff. He was so cool. I was like, can I hold it? So I held it, and I was, you know, holding it, playing with it, whatever, just taking the time to kind of look at it because i never seen nothing like that. Um, when I was done, I definitely went to the restroom and washed my hands. I go back. I'm sitting at the desk with Carlos, and we're going over everything, but the, now the lizard is on the desk where he's doing my stencil work for my tattoo that's going to be placed on my arm. Um, at the time, I didn't really think about it that way until, obviously, I got the infection. Um, Before that, let me allow him to give some background. Well, Your Honor, my name is Carlos Mendoza. Um, I'm from Denver, Colorado. I, I'm an established artist. You know, I've been Where's doing, your shop? It's over on uh, Cherokee Street, Denver. Outside of downtown? Yeah, right outside of downtown. Yeah, I have a, a private shop. downtown. There's a lot right shop. there, yes. Y'all gave downtown to the tattoo and weed shops. Yeah, exactly. Last time I was there, that was all in downtown. That's all that's right up there. Up and down Colfax. Y'all got them up and down Colfax? Avenue. Yes. Well, oh, yeah. um, I've been tattooing for 20 years. Um, I do art classes, you know, uh, I teach. So uh, she contacts me for the tattoo, and like I, I explained to her, you know, I have a very busy schedule. You know, I'm booked out about six months. Um, I got her in early uh, to do her tattoo. We ended up doing the tattoo as we're tattooing. Um, she, you know, she was doing a lot of these things with the chameleon and all that. Um, every time, you know, uh, she would like touch the tattoo while we we're tattooing, I, I would have to tell her to stop, you know? Why? Um, just because when uh, you touch the tattoo as you're tattooing, it just, it's adding bacteria to How the tattoo. How many times did you have to tell her that? Um, a few times. That's not Maybe true. three or four times. You never told you that? No. Did you ever? And I never even touched it either. I mean, there was times when I would point at it and I'd be like, look, you can still, because there was an outline that was already previously there. And he decided to go bigger because he thought it would be placed better if I made it bigger than the small outline that I already had done. Um, so Your a Honor, couple of times I had up. pointed and I said, look, I can still see, like, see that. And he was like, well, that's something that we'll have to go you back over later. You only did it once? That's the only time I can think of and I never actually touched it. Go ahead, sir. Um, anyway, uh, you could look at her tattoo. Um, she, I have pictures of it, uh, 17 through 20 on the evidence. Um, so we're doing the tattoo, Your Honor, and um, yeah, we're both having some drinks and stuff. We're kind of being flirtatious. Um, we're going back and forth. Uh, we do the tattoo. She's being flirtatious with both, you? Both of us. I have to take responsibility. How old are you? I'm 40, Your Honor. Well, you're too young for her. You heard her say she thinks that 75 year old men with wrinkled tattoos on their neck <laughs> are sexy. Yeah, yeah something like that. I like I them. Uh, something. Did you say that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. Oh, well, you're, you're you say that. Go ahead. Sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ah. Well, we finished the tattoo, and I was like, you can see from the photos, they look amazing. The tattoo came out great, you know? So after that, um, after the tattoo... Y'all were flirting. Let's go back to yeah, that. Yeah, so we were flirting a little bit after the tattoo. Um, you know, she paid me. Uh, she left. I cleaned up. I took about 30 minutes to clean up the shop. Um, locked up the shop, walked outside, and she was back sleeping in her car in my parking lot. So I was like, what the heck? I went and uh, woke her up. And I, was I like, wasn't sleeping, Your Honor. I was actually getting ready to call an Uber because I had been drinking. She was so sleeping, I didn't Your Honor. Drive. Okay. She was sleeping. She was too drunk mm -hmm. to drive. So I asked her, do you want me to call you an Uber or take you home? And she was, she was like, no, it's okay. I'll be fine. So I had to, like, shake her to wake her up. And then she goes, oh, I want to <laughs> go home with you. So I was like, okay. So I took her to my house. You know, we kind of hooked up. You know, we kind of hooked up. <laughs> Well, we did hook up. You had sex? Yes, yes, Your Honor. We, if we did, I don't remember. We did, Your Honor. <laughs> Your Honor, there's text messages where she she's saying that that has nothing to do with the case later on throughout the text. Throughout no, the I said, okay. I'm not so gonna, anyway, okay. Your Honor. Um, Go ahead. So we wake up. Um, I call her an Uber home or an Uber back to the shop so she could pick up her car. She leaves. Um, I go throughout my day, you know, and... Um, I text her, like, how's your tattoo doing? You know, she's like, oh, it's great. I love it, you know? Um, and there's proof in the That's text message. That's actually not the truth, that. because if you look at the text I'll messages... let him finish, ma'am. Then you can Sorry. tell me that. Um, on page 45, Your Honor, you can see where she says how much she loves her tattoo. Okay. So she's going through... Now, throughout... what did you want to show me? So, actually, he texted me. He said, good morning. How are you? I what said, page I'm... is that? 
This is gonna be page 25. Mm -hmm. This is literally the next morning after the tattoo. Mm -hmm. He said, how's your tattoo? I said, it's good, it hurts in the crease. On page 26, then I said, I'm okay, my tattoo hurts pretty bad. Parts of it are nasty looking and there's pus coming out of them. And that was literally the day after my tattoo. Sir, so why would you show me this? Well, because Why'd your you, honor- This seems misleading, knowing that after she said, okay, the day of or the next day, within 24 hours, she's telling you it hurts and that she's worried. Yet you presented this to me as if she was satisfied with the tattoo, knowing what she said the next day. So I now believe you're trying to deceive me, but you can continue with your testimony. Yes, Go your ahead. honor. Um, I'm not trying to deceive you. I just wanted to point out the fact that she, after that statement, she stated that she was standing in the sun mm -hmm. at the DMV. And when you're standing in the sun, Your Honor, um, the sun will literally cook your tattoo like I was some actually bacon. standing underneath an awning. There's like post and there's a cement. Let me get Your back honor, to her now. And let's start with right after you finish getting the tattoo. Um, if you don't want to go over you all, what you did after that, fine, we'll move on. But the next morning yeah because i don't think that that's relevant to what's right. going on the next um, morning i would like to um show the video of my actual tattoo of the infection that i presented okay first tell me so pretty much um i text him that it had pus coming out of it mm -hmm. He informs me that I should put peroxide on it, which I come to find out is the absolute worst thing that you can do to a tattoo that is infected or healing because Where did it, you find that out? So I actually went and saw another tattoo artist who is very good at doing cover-up work mm -hmm. and repairs. Um, when he saw my tattoo, he said, oh my God, what did he do? Like, it literally looks like he meat grinded your arm. There's so much scarring. There's so much, and the tissue is so thin now. It's gonna be too hard for me to fix this. Um, that's when he informed me, like, you should have never put peroxide because it actually slows the healing process and kills the skin. Okay, let's look at what you want to show me. Your Honor, this is from standing outside in the sun. No, it's not. It's MRSA infection. Well, we're going to see. She's got the evidence, and you went to the hospital? Yes, I did. How long um, after? And, and How and long also, after? Um, so I ended up going to the um, urgent care I believe it was two days after I spoke okay. with him in the text messages. All Actually, right. it probably was the day after those texts. What did they diagnose? So at first they diagnosed me with cellulitis, which is just like a bacteria being introduced to the tattoo that they believed came from the actual shop with how quickly it had attached itself to the arm. Um, so then they put me on an antibiotic, gave me a tetanus shot and did testing for hepatitis and things like that. But they said it was probably too early for that to show up. Um, so then I went home, I had the antibiotics, and it just continued to get worse. What page do you have any doctor's uh, um, If you go to, so the doctor's things, medical bills are going to be page 15 to 19. So page 15 should be the uh, visit to the urgent care where I was seen at. There was actually three dates of service at the urgent care. And then finally, the infection just continually got worse. The urgent care on the second trip advised me I should probably go be seen at the emergency room because they couldn't find an antibiotic that would work. I literally had to take five different antibiotics and it just continued to travel up my arm and eat through my yeah. skin. And they diagnosed it as MRSA, which yeah. is deadly, by the way. Yeah. I actually started to get arthritis pain in my elbow and in and my joint and my on finger. The infection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says it's the sun. No, you ever honest. heard of the sun giving you MRSA? You no, have sir. some insight? You've been doing tattoos how long? I mean, you talk real big. No, how long have you been doing tattoos? 20 years, Your Honor. All right, and you've seen people who have ruined it in the sun before? Your Honor, this was not a case. I'm not talking about that. I'm asking you a professional oh. question from your 20 years yes, of sir. experience. Have you had people who come back with infections that it was verified to have come from the sun? Well, yes, Your Honor. Not, mm -hmm. not only the sun, but multiple other things also. Okay. Do you ever heard of MRSA? Yes, sir. Coming from a tattoo infection? Um, not in all, all my 20 years, I've never had it happen to me, Your Honor. You heard of it, sir? I've heard of it, yes, sir. All right. And that's what the doctor said was the problem with her. What's your counterclaim for? Well, sir? Your Honor, this is just pretty much a case of neg sir, negligence. I'm not going to let you sit here, give this woman a deadly bacteria because you got a lizard floating around, and then you come in here talking about it's the sun. The doctor is very clear. What's your counterclaim for, sir? 
Well, Your Honor, my counterclaim is for harassment and also slander. But also, when she was taking care of her tattoo, she was neglecting the aftercare. I noticed on you social media. You got Mercer, media, sir. You keep referring to the tattoo and what happened. Your claim is dismissed. You have not proven your counterclaim. I gave you an opportunity. Instead, you went back to talking about the other stuff. All right? Judgment for the plaintiff in the full amount. Thank Good you. Good luck Honor. to you. Bye bye. I mean, honestly, I just wish that he would have handled it as a man and gave me the insurance information so I didn't have to continue to go through this. But at least I won now and I can go on and get my arm, try to get it fixed. Actually, this was a case of um, negligence of aftercare. If you look <laughs> at her tattoo, it looks amazing even You're right crazy. Now. She um, You're nuts. is a scam artist. And you don't get the last time from she got money, son, Carlos. it's through a scam. So it's just negligence of aftercare. You know, this has never happened to me before in 20 years. So she took advantage of not signing the um, consent form. And That's that your she fault. Could get Do money your job correctly. She knew she could get money out of not signing the consent form.